Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls injury updates, and later in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some playoff matchups for the Chicago Bulls, and also recently, there's been a lot of talk, and honestly, it's been going on for months and weeks now, that the Chicago Bulls are frauds. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about that topic, but either way, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video. It takes a second, helps me out a lot, and some comments and questions below today's video talking about all those topics topics and the injury updates I'm about to jump into. Also check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about how the Bulls are expected to keep an eye on Carl Anthony Towns in the near future and I was also talking about how there was a lot of talk and chatter on Twitter the other day about how a lot of Bulls fans are pretty much just regretting the whole Vooch trade. I was covering both those topics and breaking them down but either way let's just jump right into today's video and these huge injury updates and I'm gonna be honest the injury updates were all over the place today and Casey Johnson did first off say that Patrick Williams could return as early as this Friday and speaking of that you know yesterday there was some rumors about how Patrick Williams brother was talking to the media and said how Patrick Williams is returning this Friday and I'm gonna be honest I just didn't believe that at first because he wasn't even cleared for contact fully yet and then I did see Patrick Williams did comment on the whole situation he said that's not true so Patrick Williams is not returning this Friday I don't know where that rumor started or anything like that but yesterday Patrick Williams has been cleared for full contact so that's a great sign. I'd expect Patrick Williams back next week, 100%. Billy Donovan did confirm that he's cleared for contact. He's not on the trip right now. So it would have to be next week, maybe one to two weeks if he does have any setbacks. But I would put my money on next week, especially late next week. And Billy Donovan did add on that whole topic, and he said that Patrick Williams may practice with the Windy City Bulls. He did say Monday's game versus the Raptors is a long shot, but things are trending positively, so that's great to hear. I can't wait for Patrick Williams to be back. I mean, he's pretty much only played one year in the NBA this whole season. He's pretty much sat out. I believe he did play five games for the Chicago Bulls to start this season, and I believe the Bulls' record in those five games were 5-0, and oh, so it will be nice to get our starting power forward back. But speaking on the whole, I'd say injury and starting situation, Billy Donovan did confirm that he's going to be back be before the end of March, no matter what, of course, if no setbacks. He did say Patrick Williams will play an important role on this team, and I agree. The Chicago Bulls have been missing his three-point shooting, his defense, and just his rebounding, and I, I think it's obvious that Pat always defended the number one option on the other team. Billy Donovan did continue. He said, if the Chicago Bulls team is ever 100% healthy, he does want to ease Patrick Williams in into like the starting lineup and into the minutes with him coming off the bench first, given how much time he's missed. So that's kind of obvious, you know, ease him into play. I'd say playing and then obviously playoffs is right around the corner. So that's huge. I'd expect Patrick Williams back. I'd say late next week. And now let's jump right into the terrible injury news. You know, Lonzo Ball, there hasn't been that many updates surrounding his name. There was a lot of talk about how he'd return to the Chicago Bulls near the end of March. And I'm going to be honest, it's looking like he had, a, I'd say, slight setback. You know, Lonzo Ball is finally running and doing some lateral work, Billy Donovan did say, but he's not even close to full speed. And the next hurdle for him to be cleared is the sprint. Billy Donovan said he won't have a, I'd say, return date until then. Billy Donovan also did add that Lonzo Ball is still dealing with the, the whole bone bruise issue that was, I'd say, found before his scope for his meniscus injury. And obviously, until that fully heals, there's going to be no timeline for him to return. And speaking of that whole bone bruise, Lonzo Ball has hurt and it's still unhealed. Back in 2019, Lonzo did have a bone bruise when he did suffer a, I'd say, sprained left ankle back in 2019. And it obviously never healed 100% and he did miss the whole season back in 2019. So that's a terrible update. That's not good news. You know, that definitely sucks. It does seem like Lonzo Ball might be returning right before the NBA playoffs. I don't know. It's going to be close. But either way, it does seem like Patrick Williams should be back next week. You know, it does sound like Lonzo might not be ready right until the NBA playoffs. So it's going to be tough to get both these players, I'd say, up to speed before the NBA playoffs. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video talking about both those big injury updates. And the final topic in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some playoff matchups for the Chicago Bulls. And if the Chicago Bulls are frauds, you know, definitely leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video talking about if the Bulls are frauds. I feel like that whole talk and chatter has been going on for weeks to months now. You know, per B-Ball ref, the Bulls most likely playoff seed to land right now is the sixth seed in the East.
I'll, put, I'll make sure to throw up all the seeds and the percentages but obviously I saw the Bulls do have I'd say the hardest remaining schedule and that sucks man I mean half this team is still kind of hurt I'd say I mean Alex Caruso starting to come back but he's still not 100% I'd say and I did see this pretty interesting stat on Twitter I'll make sure to throw it up but the Chicago Bulls with Alex Caruso in the lineup are 20 and 9 and the Bulls without Alex Caruso are 21 and 17 and I think it's obvious you could see the difference when the Chicago Bulls play solid basketball versus when they have one of the worst defenses with Alex Caruso. I find it honestly mind-blowing how much better this team gets with just Alex Caruso coming off the Bulls bench. I would I just can't wait to get Pat and Lonzo hopefully back for the NBA playoffs. Those three guys are the easily the Bulls' best three defenders that the Chicago Bulls have pretty much been playing without this whole season. So getting those three back right before the NBA playoffs would be huge. Obviously, I saw some stat. I mean, it's going it's been going around all season about how the Bulls were like 0-10 or something like that versus like the top three seeds in both in both conference. And Billy Donovan obviously talked about the Bulls' poor record against, I'd say, elite teams. And Billy Donovan did say how injuries and players being out aren't excuses because other teams teams have guys out as well and I agree I know Bulls fans have been like just dying for Alex Caruso Lonzo and Pat to come back and I know they're obviously going to help the Bulls defense but you just can't rely on three key role players to just instantly fix the Bulls defense I mean on most nights if not all nights the Bulls have three all-stars in DeMar, Zach and Vooch and they should be winning most of these games Billy Donovan did continue and he said he believes the Bulls don't have enough battle tested players right now he hopes they get tested late in the regular season before for the NBA playoffs and I agree I mean it definitely hurts you know for Billy Donovan to come out and say that but it's true I mean half this roster has not even played a meaningful game most of these players have never even played a single playoff game so it's definitely going to be interesting to see if this Bulls team can ever just want get 100% healthy before the NBA playoffs that'll be huge in my opinion I'm excited for the end of the season it's definitely going to be a test for the Bulls hopefully they can get healthy and start beating some I'd say quality teams I'm really excited for the NBA playoffs most of the injury updates have been really good it'll be nice to see Patrick Williams more than likely playing next week maybe two weeks out hopefully we get some more and hopefully better Lonzo Ball injury updates maybe in a few days or in a few weeks I'll definitely keep you updated on that whole situation and it doesn't help that Zach Levine is not 100% so who knows man either way the Bulls have been playing really well I feel like they have blown a lot of our expectations out of the water so I'm just happy that the Bulls are a playoff team I'm just excited definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video thank you guys again for watching all my past videos and the love on the channel thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one